I get strong enough to reach out to your good king, Henry, to see if <coughs> that we might be able to achieve something we have not known for many years. Lasting peace between our two great kingdoms. Is that not so, Henry? You have the right of it, Francois, though we are fairly certain that it was we who reached out to you. <laughs> was it? <laughs> Perhaps one of us misremembers. It matters not. This historic meeting was originally to have taken place as Calais, a territory neutral to both parties. However, a few weeks ago, we have learned that Calais has suffered a sudden and unfortunate outbreak of plague. Oh. And it was upon hearing that terrible news that we turned to our beautiful wife Catherine and we said, Catherine, is there not soon to be a festival held at Mount Hope Shire? Did we not? Ah, you did. Uh, I and we thought, what better place to host this meeting of a story game one than this <coughs> fine and outstanding example of England? Ah, and we are sure the fact that you could not have to miss your favorite festival of the year had no part in your decision. None whatsoever. And a very nice day for And so, here we are, ready to celebrate the signing of this momentous treaty. After, of course, it is actually written up, which is, of course, what we are here to do. Though, um, a thought has struck me. Even now, the brightest minds in our respective courts are huddled in some dark and grown mount of metal, hammering out the details of the agreement. Now, we could, of course, sit in on this concern. Aye, but in faith, would that not show that we lack trust in our appointed advisors? Exactly! But if you let them hammer out the final details of it, we can sign it when it is finished. At the end of the day. So, we might as well enjoy the festival. A capital idea, King Francois! Come now, Francois, surely there's nothing we can do to help it along, you know? And they are fine. We know our husband. This is as good as it's going to get. <laughs> so, King Francois, Queen Claude, we invite you to sit <laughs> and to enjoy some of the magnificent entertainment that our master of rebels has prepared for us. <laughs> we would be honored to, <laughs> Your Majesty. Oh. Huh? Huh? Oh, right. Let's see. Let's see. Just stop the sight. <laughs> <laughs> Kensington! Why are there four monarchs upon this stage and yet only two thrones upon which to sit? Well, well, Your Majesty, my mother always taught me that sharing was caring, and I thought maybe it was the rotator of oh, this. I am. Um, you agree. Uh, your Majesty is a thousand apologies. Rest assured, Mount Hope has spared no expense. Chair number one, chair number two, no oh, Come on. Oh, my friend. <laughs> no, you. We always travel with our own wild sticks. Ben? Drones, assemble! <laughs> My, these thrones are most impressive, right? I most elegantly wrote in deed. Dost thou not think so, Kensington? I'm a very subtle person, Your Majesty. Flesh is not my style. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yes. 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 Yes.
himself, Francois. That's why it is indeed. Now, Henry, Catherine, eh, could just allow us to present the next part of Mary Mar, no? Gladly. Excellent way. Now, the ladies, it is our pleasure to present unto you the master of mirth, the spinner of tales, the finest cup jester in all of Christendom. Now, the ladies, sweep away! Your Majesty summoned, and I am here. Wow, <laughs> oh, King Henry, what sort of a jester would you desire? Should I make a cunning play on words? Yes. Perhaps I may twist a light and phrase for our yes. monsters. <laughs> no, I have it. I feel it. Rumbling, boiling, and building within me, about to burst forth in a gust of inspiration, the very soul of English winter. <laughs> Is a bold villain, is he not? Wait, that he is. <coughs> Henry, Catherine, we do hope that you take no offense. It is a sour fellow indeed who does not enjoy a merry jest. <laughs> Even one made at his own expense. <laughs> but we pity! Allow us to give answer to this fool. Jane! Lovely. Now, Jane, uh, this fine French fool hath given us with his noxious wind. Kindly return the favor and amuse us. I'll just pour it. Okay, you're gonna like this one. Ready? Okay. So, a German walks into a bar and he orders two martinis. And the bartender says, dry? And he says, no, two! Your Majesty, I have a fine idea. <laughs> Why do not we eat two fools? Have a bounce of wit. Oh, no, 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 it's going to be late because I think that is not in the spirit of the day. Oh, oh, come it's now, Claude. There's going to be more prizing and a bit of competition now. Right. Excellent way! Henry, yes, would you like to agree? Uh, uh, I. Excellent way, too late, too late. Do you want to play? Wait. <laughs> We shall proceed according to the rules set down by the Academy the Imbecile in Orleans. I shall set the meter in my opening salvo and thou must need to reply in my job and rhythm. I never heard the Academy the Imbecile. Never worry, dear chicken, I shall get a sense of it anon. Gentlemen, <laughs> um, it seems that they require the meat. Do the thing. <laughs>
biggest one is right here. <laughs> <laughs> Show it. Good people! Let this festival day! 